Welcome to the first and one of the most important production techniques. Today we're going to be talking about gain staging. And I'm going to be breaking it down with some examples. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a trick to get in the perfect minus 6 dB headroom all the time. Arigato. First of all, before anything, I want you to know that gain staging is not volume leveling, rather signal leveling. Let me explain. See, most samples you use, like drum sounds, like kick, snares, which have high dynamics, they come at normalized volume. If normalized is a bit confusing, so let's say they come at a mastered level, and anything mastered is pretty cranked up, right? To get a clearer understanding of this concept, I have made a simple 8 bar loop which we are going to mix with the approach of gain staging. I'm gonna play it without any processing or gain staging and because of this, you're gonna notice a loud blasting sound just smacking through your ears. It's best if you turn down your volume cause it's pretty loud. I want you to look at the master and notice how it's jumping over the ceiling way past over 0 dB and causing extreme distortion. <laughs> you've listened we can all agree that there's some problems here i know what you're thinking why don't i just turn down the volume knob but that's where the problem starts you're not making any actual difference when it comes to the signal to get a clearer understanding i'm going to use two plugins to achieve this concept one to monitor the signal and one to adjust the signal to the optimal level so the first plugin we're going to use to monitor our signal is the waves view meter all right, let's get practical. I'm going to solo the sound and you can see how the view meter reads. The signal was pushing all the way over the red mark. Now you might be wondering, what is then the right input for a good gain staging? Now if you're learning anything from this video, help me by subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. It helps my channel get more reach and helps people who want to learn more about production find this video easily. Now let's get back to where we were. Now this is a stock plugin, the Fruity Balance. Most DOS should have a game plugin inbuilt, but don't worry if you don't have either of plugins because I have put out a free video meter and a game staging plugin that you can download for free, the link's in the description. Great. Now let's talk about analog and digital levels. Notice how the readings on both plugins are different. Here's why. For analog meters, the ideal reading or the sweet spot where you want your sounds to be will be around zero. That is to say, I might still pass over zero, but that will always be the case when an instrument or sound has peaking signals, which can be later corrected either with a limiter or a compressor to get a smaller dynamic range. For digital meters, the ideal equivalent to zero of the analog meter is minus 18. Now here's a little tip. Not all your drum sounds get to sit in the sweet spot, and that's okay. And when using a digital meter, from minus 18 to minus 12 should be your workstation. Now the next question is, when and where do I gain stage? Well, it's pretty simple. Gain staging is the first process in a production sequence. You put it first on your plugin chain because the signal flows from top to bottom in that way it feeds your plugins the best signal in order for them to work at their best. Now let's gain stage this entire session and I'll show you what I mean by the signal flow into other plugins. Now before I start, I want you to notice the levels on the master once again and see how it's peaking. Okay, let's start with the melody. I'm going to add the view meter and the fruity balance, and I'm going to add a graphical EQ to explain the signal flow. 
Now let's solo the melody and as I play, notice the EQ. This white line over here represents where the signal is optimal. Anything past this is really stressing the plugin. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, you've seen all the problems in all three plugins. Now let's fix this. You see that after attaining optimal signal levels, the graphic EQ signal is well on or below the line. Now I'm gonna gain stage the rest of the sounds we have. Great, now to check out the master signal. Sounds better and you can see all the headroom we just achieved. Now it's well below almost minus 6 dB but it jumps to 3 dB occasionally. That's the dynamic range I've been talking about and that can be corrected with limiting or compression to get the perfect minus 6 dB of headroom. Finally to show you the trick to getting that perfect minus 6 dB headroom. This is something I picked from professional mixing engineers over the internet. And that's to turn everything down by minus 16 dB and adding plus 6 dB on the master channel. This method helps increase your workflow, so give it a try. Let me demonstrate this quick. Alright, now let's say I do a quick mix.
cool. Now to add the plus 6 TV on the master. Let's now observe the levels on the master. Can you see that? Just incredible. So once again, if you got anything from this video, help me by clicking the like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel with the YouTube algorithm. And if you'd like to see more content like this, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.